what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here and welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be talking about how to connect into a OneDrive folder and ways to use the Power BI service in order to make sure that you have the latest data one thing that you need to know is that with SharePoint you're allowed to sync SharePoint with your OneDrive folder and so in order to connect into OneDrive using a SharePoint folder, you will need to sync the link between SharePoint and your OneDrive. So it is possible to connect to your OneDrive through a SharePoint folder. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start here in the Power BI desktop and we're just going to talk about ways to connect into OneDrive. The first way is to just use an Excel workbook located here at the top and so I'm going to select the Excel workbook and it's going to ask me where I would like to get these files from. If I scroll up notice that I have the option to connect into my personal OneDrive or your business OneDrive located on your desktop and so as I select the OneDrive folder notice that I have the ability to connect into the Excel file here. One thing that you need to know is that when you connect to a file that's located on your desktop, when you publish this report out to the Power BI service, in order to refresh, you're going to need what's called a data gateway. So a data gateway essentially acts as a bridge between the file that's located on your desktop and the Power BI service, allowing you to schedule a refresh. If I simply just connect into this OneDrive folder and publish the report, it's not going to have the latest data, even though my OneDrive is going to be updated on my personal laptop or desktop, it's not going to refresh the data inside the Power BI service. So anytime you connect to a file source that's located on your desktop, you're going to need a data gateway in order to schedule a refresh. So this is very important as we talk about connecting into your OneDrive file and where your files are located with inside of your desktop. The same is true if we were to click this get data drop down here with our common data sources. So if I click the drop down and I select text CSV, notice that I also have the option to connect into OneDrive as well. So whether it's an Excel file or a CSV file, we have the ability to connect into OneDrive. Once again, these files are static when you publish out to the Power BI service. So this would also need a data gateway as well. As we look at additional options, I'm going to click this data icon here to pull up a full list of connectors. So as we think about ways to connect into the files located on our desktop, we have our Excel workbook. We also have a text CSV option. We have a folder option. These three options, while you can connect to a file, you can connect to a OneDrive folder, they are going to require a data gateway for Power BI refresh. So as we use these sources, we have to have an understanding that anytime that we connect to a file that's located on our desktop, we're going to have to have a data gateway installed in order to refresh in PowerBI.com or the Power BI service. So yes, you can connect into OneDrive using these sources, but that file is going to be static. So as you publish out to the service in order to schedule a refresh, you will need to have a data gateway, either a personal or a business gateway installed in order to schedule those refreshes in the Power BI service. Now, as we look at a SharePoint folder, a SharePoint folder can be synced with your OneDrive online. And so the SharePoint folder option has the availability to connect to your OneDrive, but you're going to have to sync your SharePoint folder with your OneDrive account. If I select SharePoint folder here, you're going to see that it's going to ask me for a root URL. 
And so here is where you're going to put the root URL to your SharePoint location that is synced to your OneDrive. And so you are going to have the ability to connect into OneDrive using this SharePoint folder option. But once again, the SharePoint has to be synced with your OneDrive. So this is an option. Now, the benefit of using this connector is that as we publish out to the Power BI service, this SharePoint folder is located online. Anytime we connect to an online source, it's going to automatically allow us to refresh inside the Power BI service. So we can connect to our OneDrive account through the SharePoint folder and it will allow us to schedule a refresh without the data gateway. The other option is to use a web connector. So if I click the Get Data dropdown and I go over here to the web connector, the web connector is going to allow us to put in a specific URL and this is where you're going to put your OneDrive URL location. So you can connect directly into OneDrive using this web option. Once again, this being online is not going to require us to have a data gateway in order to schedule a refresh inside the Power BI service. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. The question says you have a Microsoft Excel file in a Microsoft OneDrive folder. The file must be imported to a Power BI data set you need to ensure that the data set can be refreshed in PowerBI.com. Which two connectors can you use to connect to the file? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. As always, let's take a look at some of the key pieces of information here. So the first is that we are connecting into a Microsoft Excel file. So we're going to be using Excel and it tells us that this is inside of a OneDrive folder. The file must be imported to a Power BI data set. This tells us that this is going to be online with inside of the Power BI service. We can also see in the next sentence that it says it has to be refreshed in PowerBI.com. So as we look at the question, it says that we have to choose two connectors. So this is a key piece of information here that we're going to have to choose two connectors to connect into the file. But additionally, the important piece here is that it says each correct answer presents a complete solution. So a complete solution means there are not going to be any additional requirements in order to use our answer choices. So as we think about our Excel workbook, so we saw that the Excel workbook does have the option to connect into OneDrive. But as we talked about, in order to refresh our data with inside the Power BI service, we're going to have to have a data gateway. So a data gateway is going to be required in order to refresh this Excel file that's located on our desktop. And the question doesn't say anything about a data gateway. It says that each correct answer must be a complete solution. So if we're required to set up a data gateway in order to refresh our data, this is not going to be an option for us because it has to be a complete solution. Option B says a text CSV. Well, it told us up here at the top that this is an Excel file, so we can automatically eliminate option B. Option C is the folder connector. The folder connector once again will allow us to connect into OneDrive. So this is an option, but once again, because this is located on our desktop, it's going to require a data gateway in order to refresh this inside the Power BI service. Anytime you have a file located on your desktop, you're going to have to have a data gateway in order to refresh it properly. So yes, we can connect into OneDrive, but we cannot set up a data gateway because the question says it has to have a complete solution, no additional requirements. So as we think about the SharePoint folder, once again, the SharePoint can be synced with your OneDrive, so yes, we can connect into OneDrive. And because this is online, 
the SharePoint folder is connecting to a file that's online, we are not going to need a data gateway in order to refresh this source. So we're going to use the root URL to connect into that SharePoint folder that's synced with our OneDrive account. And so this will present one option that we can use that is a complete solution. No additional items are needed, no data gateways needed in order to refresh. As we look at our last option here, once again, the web option asks us for a URL so we can paste in that OneDrive URL and directly connect into that Excel file. Once again, this being online, means that we do not have to set up a data gateway. It is going to refresh as we schedule it, so no additional requirements are needed. So for this question, the two options, a SharePoint folder and the web option, are going to be the complete solution because they do not require a data gateway to be refreshed inside the Power BI service. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this question, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.